Right, let's have a look to see what delights are ahead in the city park. Which is conveniently just over here. Some things here you can't do. You can't fell trees. Just in case you'd brought an axe and you were trying to scratch that itch. You know, you just had a, an urge when you woke up this morning. I'm gonna go and fell a tree when you can't do it here. You can't kick blue boxes. You can't play Jenga with lit matches can't start a fire can't drop litter can't smoke while attempting to bowl a cricket ball I'd say that's probably good advice anyway at the beginning of the 17th century the old boundary of the city of Klaipeda was in the current intersection of Hercus Mantas, that big street, and Daukantas streets. The so-called Leopaya gates were located there. The citizens had agricultural fields and grasslands beyond the city gates towards the park. At that time, passengers suffered from the drifting sand. In the 18th century, the Seven Years' War in the yeah, middle of the 1750s, 1756, 1763, also had a severe impact on the greenery of Klaipeda and its environs. Almost all the forests north of the Bomelis Wheat Quarter, heading towards Palanga, were devastated. This further facilitated sand migration from the coast of the Baltic Sea covering the land with a thick layer of it. Intensive dune afforestation work thus began. Archaeologists often find traces of sand dunes at a depth of several dozens of centimetres in the northern part of the city of Klaipeda. A forestation process in the current park territory began in the first half of the 19th century. After 1819, a large area of the land in the northern part of the city was given to the merchant community. The afforestation process was accelerated. Johann Rickert was the man who took care of planting and maintaining the forest. He even served as plantation inspector in 1825 to 1861. In the second half of the 19th century, after paths and trails were built in Plantatia, Gradually, the area became a favourable promenade for citizens. Okay, the history goes on a bit, doesn't it? European funds, the park was restored in 2011. Ooh! Skating rink in winter, Ferris wheel, fairy hut. Not sure what would go on in there. People could play chess, checkers and billiards there. Well, due to a lack of funding and poor maintenance, the park lost its former popularity and purpose in the years of independence. Let's see if there's still a fairy hut and if people are playing checkers. It's a sudden emergence of very small people known as children, young children. And I think I can see what they're interested in. Up here, for example, there are adventure walkways and there's more of it beyond. Uh, okay, please wear carbines. So for your own safety, get hooked up before attempting to climb up here and then once you've got to the top, how on earth? Uh, yeah, that's beyond me. I can understand 
the dangerous and scary wood slat bridge. But the tyres, no, it's too complicated. Whether you've got a camera or not, just in case people get the wrong idea about your intentions. We wouldn't want that to happen. Those misunderstandings. Yeah, it's another night in jail for you. Trespassed on university property, a night in jail, says the judge. And then when the beak realizes that I've been walking around City Park with a camera, uh, he's just gonna extend my stay, isn't he? What on earth are these? Hang on a minute, is this something to do with... Hmm, the light bulb's just going off, flickering in my head. Is it something to do with... Do they try and throw frisbees to land in there? Or is it... No. Sorry, I'm lost. And what's this for? Oh, it's a little sort of, yes. Take a book, return a book, little free library. So I've entered down here and walked kind of this away, haven't I? To avoid the school children there. So I'm up there and I could do a big loop. I could walk down that away. Maybe. Undecided, undecided. I'll walk this way. Just for the hell of it. Just to see what lies beyond. What isn't on the map. What are they telling you? that isn't on the map. Hmm? Don't know unless you go and look, do you? I think that's what we'll do. And sometimes they don't mark what's next on the map because, you know, I had a funny feeling it might be an old cemetery. The war dead, perhaps. Maybe. The names have been lost to history. Meanwhile, have I found the fairy hut? What do you think? I've never seen a fairy hut before, so I'm not sure what to expect. There's a rusted metal door, which doesn't look accessible. Around here, more decoration, more decoration, but, <sighs> hmm, oh, oh, there's more over there, right, I've stumbled upon more of this adventurous climbing stuff. Crikey, you could come here and mind your head. If you felt like, I was going to say, knocking yourself out. You might literally knock yourself out if you come a cropper because by accident or you really don't know what you're doing. But if you feel you do know what you're doing, you could come here and it's all for free. Presumably, I mean. And this clearly the driver of this Volkswagen up here did not know what he was doing. What on earth was he thinking? Whatever it was, it all went tragically wrong. As you can see here. Yeah, 
took a wrong turn, was checking his WhatsApp on the phone. Before he knew it, he was in the treetops. And for smaller people who aren't quite so much into the risk taking, and I don't blame them, there's a lower to the ground opportunity to have fun and play in a more conventional way. But look at this. I mean, come on, young backpackers, get your ass off the beach, get your ass off your bicycles, get your ass out of bed, out of the hostel, and up to City Park. Look what's waiting for you. This is free. You've got to pay for this if you go to somewhere where this is properly organised by professionals. Here you can have genuine near-death experiences because there are no professionals here to help you. You're on your own. Just got to use some common sense and away you go. Are these activities popular? Do people still want to do this? Was it just a fad which has died out and is no longer of interest to people? Wow, this is incredible. I've never seen one as big. Hmm. Makes you think, doesn't it? Labyrinthas, Tinklas Labyrinthas, Tinkler's Labyrinth. Statas, Orangina Trasa. There you go, that's the beginning of it. Keep climbing. And there's the end. Come with your own travelling carabinier and a safety helmet, which you might have anyway if you're cycling or on a motorbike, and get stuck in. It's all just waiting for you. Work off some of the sexual frustration. Yeah, you're a backpacker. You know you're going to have that. There's only so much drowning your sorrows in alcohol can do. I was young once. And, oh, I see what this is for. I thought perhaps it was for rollerblades. But no, you can... Presumably you've got to pay somebody, maybe at that casa. Yes, that makes sense. And then hire these out rollerblades and mini vehicles and if you want to attack the racetrack B Lidimo Draujama good advice for you remember those words toilet football and skateboard park down this away. It's a nice big park, this one. It's a tremendous density of trees. And I'm not complaining. Don't think I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you can walk around a lot and not get lost and think, oh my God, I'm going to be abducted by people who live in the woods, cut off from civilization. No, no, no. All inbred. No. Because that would be paranoia, wouldn't it? But it is nice to just roam around a park set in a forest. That's what it feels like. Ah, there's a mini football pitch over there. And there's an exercise place kind of here. Don't want to be too intrusive filming people, so I shall be discreet. 
and film me instead. Is that being discreet? It looks as though the lens is a bit mucky. Give it a rub, is that better? Or is it just like putting deep heat onto sunburn, thinking you're putting on a soothing balm? Who's made that mistake before? It was a long time ago. We've got two cyclists up ahead in the cycle path, side by side, racing. Only they're chasing their bicycles, I think, because I haven't seen the bikes. Could be one of those rare versions of a, perhaps a variation on an orienteering theme. You know, a different type of sport where part of the cycling involves running but without the bikes. Hang on a minute. Am I recreating an idea for the triathlon? Oh, there's always somebody ahead of you who thinks of these things first, isn't there? Thought I'd just come up with a brilliant idea inspired by two guys running in the cycle lane. But no. There is some good news though. Here we are, Mamertas. Yes, you, Mamertas. I remember you from five years ago. Keen skateboarder. Before your Lithuanian pop rock rap cool music career kicked off. I knew him when he was just a young skateboarder. There are no young Mamertuses here today. After seeing the skateboard park in the seaside park in Leopaya and having that very fine display given to us by one man with his bicycle. This is a little quieter but I'm sure weekends things hot up. Would, would be graffiti artists or are they even would be graffiti artists? Are they just bored? They found some paints hanging around in tins in dad's garage and thought oh let's go out and paint stuff. Have you got a girlfriend yet? No. What about you? No. Mm, should we start our band? Oh, I haven't got any instrument. Have you got an instrument? No. Got some tins of paint in Dad's garage. Okay, we could do that. We could paint on things. We could paint uh, stuff. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We were all teenagers once, weren't we? No, I think I was born old, to be honest. So here's the giant spider's web I mentioned earlier. Who doesn't want to get caught up in a giant spider's web? I don't know. I'd have to have instructions. I'd have to see an instructional video on YouTube to understand where do you even begin climbing in there and what's the object or is it just fun climbing around which it might well be if I ever gave it a go but I don't think I will maybe I'll save that you've got to save things for next time haven't you I'm always saying that to you and you know it's true skateboard park check and now I'm seeing, getting a sense of the distance. You know, you can look at a map and see how close things are and get one idea of um, how long it's going to take you to walk there. And from A to B, B to C, etc. But when you're actually on the ground and you're doing it, 
Yeah, I'm thinking I definitely won't be walking to the city beach area. Yeah, I'll give that one a miss. And I won't be walking to the botanical gardens either. Because otherwise, you know, these videos, they do go on for a long time, don't they? I know it's called walkie talkie traveller, but crikey. I don't half go on, don't I? So I don't want to bore you rigid with my babbling and blabbing. So I think I might end my city park trip right here, right now, right here, right now. Oh God, no. I'm going to fall foul of YouTube copyright, aren't I? Oh, I'm going to be blacklisted. Don't need that to happen. Now I feel lost and alone and scared in the park. Or is it a forest? And are there bears? Hey, are there bears? Does the Pope pray in the forest? Hmm. I went to see my tree surgeon. Doctor, I discovered this lump. Wee. 